Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's mathematics and we want to look at a matrix question, paper 2. The question says matrix A is equal to 5, negative 2, 3, x and B is equal to 6, 4. And then the first part says given that the determinant of matrix A is 21. So the determinant of this is 21. Now they are saying we have to find x. What will be the value of x? Hence, after finding the value of x, then you should find the inverse of a and a b. Okay? So these are the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how best we can answer uh, the questions coming from matrices. So we start. We are told that the determinant of this matrix is 21, okay? Now you ask yourself, how do we calculate determinant? So, uh, we say solutions here. So, matrix A is equal to 5, negative 2, 3, x. This is the matrix. Now, the determinant of this matrix is 21. How do we get determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix? Well, you have to multiply the major entries. That's the first thing. You multiply, which will be 5 times x. The answer will be 5x. After you multiply, before you multiply the minor entry, put minus. Always. It's a minus, not plus. So minus here, then multiply the minor. Multiply this. So when we multiply, we're going to get 3 times negative 2, it will be negative 6. So negative 6. Since we have got two negatives here, put this one in brackets. This is the way we find determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now we are told that the determinant is equal to what? 21. So equal to 21, like this. From there, you are now going to solve this simple linear equation, which will be 5x, negative, negative is positive, 6 is equal to 21. You see that? Then finally, we are going to say a collection of like terms here, which will be 5x is equal to 21, we have 21 here. This positive 6, when it crosses the equal sign, it will be negative 6. So we are now going to have 5x is equal to 21 minus 6. That will be 15. To remain with x, divide by 5, divide by 5. Cancel this. x is equal to how many 5s are in 15? 3. So, this is the value of x. Immediately you find the value of x, substitute in the matrix. So that now matrix A will be like this. Here 5, here 3, here negative 2, here x is now 3. So now this is the matrix that we are going to use to find the inverse and also AB. Hope we are following. We move on. How do we find the inverse? When you see negative 1, raised to the power negative 1, it means you should find the inverse of matrix A. How do we find the inverse of a matrix? Well, you should know that the inverse of matrix A will be equal to, the formula is 1 over determinant of matrix A times the adjoint of matrix A. That is the formula. So you're just substituting that. So now we are saying the inverse of A will be equal to 1 over what is the determinant of this matrix. Now, this is where students make mistakes. You want to substitute with a 3. Here, it should be determinant of A. So read the question. 
given that the determinant of A is 21, so here is 21. Multiply by adjoint of A. How do we find the adjoint of a matrix? Well, if you have a matrix like this one, A, adjoint of this matrix, A, will be equal to, swap these, swap them. That's the first thing. So 3 will be here, 5 will be here. Have you seen that? These, you are not going to swap. You maintain their position. Maintain their positions, but change their signs. Maintain their positions, but change their signs. Meaning, this one which is negative, it will be what? Positive. This one which is positive, it will be what? Negative. Three. So this is the adjoint. We put it here. Three, two, negative three, five. Okay? This is the inverse. You leave it there. Yes, if you want, you can multiply. There is no problem. But if you don't, leave it like that. This is also correct. You can multiply 1 over 21 times 3, 1 over 21 times 2, 1 over 21 times negative 3, 1 over 21 times 5. You get the answer. It's fine. Okay? Then we have the last part here, which says we have to find AB. What does that mean? Multiplication. We are multiplying two matrices. So get matrix A, which is here. 5 negative 2, 3, 3, get B, where is B, and B is here, 6, 4, then you multiply, how do we go about it, row by column, that's how we multiply matrices, so it's row by column, what you can do is, identify their orders okay so what is the order of this matrix this is a two by two matrix one two which is here one two okay then this one is one two two by one so the order of this matrix is two by two the order of this matrix is two by one check out this last number and the first number you see that last number here first number they should always be the same these two must be the same. What are they telling you? That the two matrices can be multiplied. If they are not the same, then do not proceed to multiply. Those matrices cannot be multiplied. So here, check out always, these should be the same. Two, two, one, one, three, three, just like that. It means they can be multiplied. Okay? Then the first number here and the last number here is telling you the type of the matrix that you are going to have. Okay, the type, the order of the matrix for the answer in short. So it will be a two by one. So when we multiply, the order of the answer should be a two by one. If we are not going to get this, then it is wrong. So now let's, let's proceed and multiply. It's row times column, right? which is five times six. So we have 5 times 6 plus, so it's this and this sign. So 5 times 6, then plus negative 2 times 4. That is the way we multiply. So we are moving like this. See that? Like this. This times this, 5 times 6 plus negative 2 times 4. So I've got negative 2 times 4. We are done with that, we come to this. Again, same procedure. It is this multiplied by this. So it's this times this. We're going to say 3 times 6 down here. This is down. 3 times 6, 3 times 6, plus 3 times 4. 3 times 4. Like this. We are done with the multiplication here. Then we can simplify. 
on top, 3, 5 times uh, 6 will give us 30. So 30, this one will be negative 2 times 4, which will be negative 8. Okay? So that negative 8 um, and this positive, it will be minus 8 on top. Down, we have uh, 3 times um, 6, which will be 18. So this will give us 18 plus 3 times... Uh, 3 times uh, 4, it will be 12. Then we can simplify. On top, 30, take our 8, will give us 22. Then 18 plus 12 will give us 30. This is the final answer. Now you can check the order of this matrix. 1, 2 by 1, which is it, this one. So it is correct. I hope you have learned. Thank you. Bye-bye.